measuring my vulva. First off, I need to find my urethra. My vulva looks a bit different to this vulva. Is it easy? Oh, I really should have trimmed the pubes. This is not gonna be very scientific. Ah, no! I need a breather. Oh my God, I just peed. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a bit of an experiment and I'm going to be trying to measure my vulva and all of the different little things going on down there. That's right, pants off, tape measure, mirror, vulva measuring. <laughs> this video was inspired by a chapter in a book that I read a few years ago called Bonk, The Curious Coupling of Sex and Science by Mary Roach. And there's a chapter in it called The Princess and Her Pea, The Woman Who Moved Her Clitoris and Other Ruminations on Intercourse Orgasms. So this princess in question is Marie Bonaparte. And in the 1920s, she did some very serious scientific study because she was pretty miffed that she could an orgasm through penetrative intercourse. And she had a theory as to why, which had something to do with the distance between her clitoris and her urethra. So Marie Bonaparte's clitoris was three centimeters away from her urethra, but you can't just have one. So she did a whole study and she measured 243 women's vulvas. She also interviewed some of them and asked if they had a normal reaction during intercourse, which is actually quite sad because I think that she just thought that she was really broken because she thought having an orgasm during vaginal penetration was a normal response. And Marie Bonaparte actually ended up having surgery to move her clitoris closer and was apparently disappointed with the results. But in this paper that she published in 1924, so almost a hundred years ago, she split her participants into three separate categories. So the first category was the longest distance and this was over 2.5 centimeters and this accounted for 20 21% of her participants. And these people claimed that they were incapable of orgasm during penetrative intercourse. Next is the shortest distance, and this is under 2.5 centimeters, and this accounted for 69% of her participants. And these people were almost guaranteed orgasm during penetrative intercourse. However, as Mary Roach notes in Bunk, this isn't the same as modern data that we have that says that around 20 to 30% of cis women can orgasm from penetration alone. And Marie Bonaparte's final category was the people whose distance was 2.5 centimeters exactly. And this was 10% of her participants. And these people could go either way. It was context dependent whether or not they could orgasm through penetrative intercourse. So this distance between the clitoris and the urethra is called the clitoral urinary meters distance, or as I'm going to refer to it as cummed. But the real question and purpose of this video is how big is my cummed? Which category am I in? And does this correlation hold up for me? So I think that I am in that context dependent category because for most of my sexual life, could an orgasm from penetration alone. But in recent years I have, and I can count the occasions on one hand, although now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think it was ever a penis. I think it's like hands and toys. Mm, so maybe I'm in that first category. But we are not stopping there because we are measuring more than just my cunt. A UK study from 2005 documented the variation in size and shape of different vulva features. There were 50 participants, women between the age of 18 and 50. There was no info about whether these women were cis or trans, so I'm just assuming that they were all cis women. The average age was 35 and a half, 37 of the women were white, five were Asian, six were black, one Latin American, and one mixed race. Three of them had never been sexually active, whatever that means. 29 had not given birth, 18 had given birth, and 11 of them were on some kind of hormones like the contraceptive pill. What they found was that there was no statistically significant association between any genital measurement and their age, ethnicity, whether they'd given birth or not, hormone use, or sexual history. I am also going to measure all the different parts of my vulva that they measured in this study and compare. So here is my very basic drawing of a vulva. I think it needs some pubes and I'm gonna give it a bit of a tinge of the ginger and the minge, if you know what I'm saying. So they measured clitoral length. So that would be here. And the range was five to 35 millimeters. They measured clitoral width, and this was 
three to 10 millimeters. This is gonna be chaos. They also measured the cund. So clit to urethra, whoop. And this ranged from 16 to 45 millimeters. Next, we have the outer labia length. So from here, down to here and we're in centimeters now the range here was 7 to 12 centimeters then our inner labia length which is here to here this is chaos um, and we're back to millimeters apparently and the range here was 20 to 100 next they measured the inner labia width here to about here which ranged from seven to 50 millimeters. And finally, perineum length. So that is from here to your butthole. Boop. And the range here was 15 to 55 millimeters. Can you see this? Be right back whilst I make this a bit clearer. I hope that's a bit clearer, but now onto the thing that you probably actually clicked on this video to see, measuring my vulva. So I've got no knickers on, I've got a mirror in front of me, I can see my vulva, I have got clean hands, I have a notepad and a pen with me to write down my measurements. I have my tape measure and I have this diagram in front of me is a picture of a vulva and all of the lines of like where they measured. However, my vulva looks a bit different to this vulva and I'm like, I'm gonna need to like spread it out, you know, in order to like even see stuff. Like it looks like someone is like pulling on this, but then obviously if you pull on things then it changes the measurements. I don't know. This is not gonna be very scientific. This is just going to be whatever I can do. Let's start easy. Is it easy? Oh, I really should have trimmed the pubes because they are getting in the way. Let's do first up clitoral length because that I can see. <laughs> so I'm just going to go from like basically where I can feel like erection tissue basically. So like from the top to the, the glands, like to the head. That's what I'm going to do. Here to here. Come on. Ah, no! <sighs> so you know this bit of metal on the end? got a pube stuck in it. Right, it's basically over two centimeters. Clitoris is 22 millimeters long. Fantastic. Next, clitoral glands width. Okay, so how wide are you? Do we just go its widest point? I don't know which bit of it I'm meant to measure, but whatever, 10 millimeters. So clitoris to urethra, this is the big one. This is the one where we like, can I orgasm through penetration? <laughs> is it penetration alone or like penetration at all? I don't know. Um, okay, first off, me to find my urethra. Oh my God, my legs are already hurting. <sighs> Let's just give them a stretch. Oh. Things are in the way. I think I need to do the like legs out situation like this. Right, but now I'm using both of my hands to balance myself. We're gonna have to engage the abs. Engage the core! Oh my God, legs, abs engaged. I wasn't expecting this to be a workout. Honestly do not know. Where the fuck is it? Oh my God, I just peed. Where did I pee from? Oh, I found it. Hello friend. Oh wow, my urethra is like right on top of my vagina. That is so close, that is ridiculous. How have I never noticed this before? Oh my God, my legs. I need a breather. Fuck it. The only way that I can see the end of my clit and my urethra at the same time is by pulling on everything. I think about three centimeters, but, but that's with it all stretched. See if I can stretch it widthways, but not lengthways, so that I can get like a good measurement. See, that's more like two now. Should we just say two and a half? Fuck it. Right, more to go. Next, the outer lips length. So according to my image, this is measured from the top of the clitoris, so like the top of when like your erectile tissue begins, all the way to the beginning of the perineum so like below the vagina i can like this one's gonna be easy i can i can i can see six centimeters right and then inner lips length so this one looks like it's like from the head of the clitoris instead of like the top bit of the clitoris to just under the vagina but i think i should be able to see where the lips begin and end but again like all scrunched up like this two centimeters <laughs> maybe let's try to clit urethra again it's basically like the same yeah clit urethra is like two and a half centimeters 
and then it's just like a bit further that's like three okay three now inner lips width which i actually i don't know what their situation is it looks like it's just kind of from the edge of the lip into like the middle bit where everything is but what i want to do so this might not be what this is at all is i want to measure each of my inner labia separately because one is really long <laughs> And so actually that's what I want to measure. That's what I'm curious and I'm gonna stretch it. So this part isn't the same as the study, but this is just for my own curiosity. So it's my left one, it would seem that is the long one. Ooh, what's happening? So you are about two and a half centimeters. The left one, our long friend. Ooh, like five, maybe not five, maybe more like four. Yeah, four almost double right then finally oh my god we've made it perineum length so this is do i need to find my bum hole <sighs> luckily my bum hole is out of use that is i think about two centimeters 20 millimeters <sighs> i did it i'm gonna go wash my hands wasn't that fun so let's see what the situation is my clitoral length was 22 millimeters I mean, in the middle, bam. The average of the people in the study was 19.1. So I'm a bit above average in my clitoral length, but who knows if I was even measuring it correctly at all. Next up, the clitoral glands width. The average of this was 5.5 millimeters. I measured 10, which is at the upper range here. So big click gal is what conclusion I'm drawing from this. Right, next, my cummed. The cummed. I actually measured two and a half centimeters, so 25 millimeters, which is smack bang in the middle of Marie Bonaparte's study. The average in this study was 28 and a half, so here I am with my 25. But as you saw, measuring that was not the easiest thing in the world, so who knows if this is even accurate. Next, we have the outer lips length. Whoosh. The average in the study was 9.3 centimeters and I was a 6.5. Whoa, but the range started at seven. Do I have a really small vulva or am I just measuring incorrectly? <laughs> We're putting it on the 6.5. Small vulva, big clip, yeah. Next was the inner labia length and the average was 60.6 .6 millimeters and I was 30 millimeters. So actually more evidence to the fact that I've just got a small, vulva i am a small person though so perhaps where are we here so i am 30. i'm turning 30. okay next the fun bit how do my inner flaps do in terms of their width so the average here was 28.1 millimeters my left one the shorty was 25 millimeters boom and then my long one was 40 millimeters oh yeah so one is average and one is on the longer end what a good time and finally that sweet sweet perineum that gooch baby the average was 31.3 millimeters and mine was 20 millimeters again with that like small compact vulva area just a thought a theory a hypothesis because i've got a small ish vulva maybe that is why it was difficult for me to measure everything because it's also compact it's like compact everything is hidden away and then flaps just like poking out the middle just getting in the way of everything but there we have it not to scale my vulva oh what a good time <laughs> So my cummed measurement puts me smack bang in the middle of Marie Bonaparte's study where it is context dependent whether or not I can orgasm through intercourse, which is kind of true. However, I feel like I have the potential to, I feel like I have the capacity, but I haven't unlocked that part of myself yet. You know, there's just like more sexual evolving to do. I haven't reached my final form, but I feel like the potential to reliably orgasm through intercourse is there for me. Just not quite got there yet, but it's fine. It's fine, we got time. But obviously Marie Bonaparte's study was done in the 1920s. How Ever. Professor Kim Wallen did a study in 2010 to see if her findings stood up 
against modern statistical analysis. So he took her raw data and he took some other raw data from a 1940 study at the Kinsey Institute and took a look. Does her theory hold up? And it turns out it did. There was a strong correlation that the shorter the cummed, there was a greater likelihood of being able to orgasm during intercourse. However, cummed did not matter in terms of orgasm during masturbation. However, I have more questions about that because is that through only penetrative masturbation or like penetrative and clit or just clit? Like what kind of masturbation are we talking about here? But why? Why does a shorter cummed mean that you are more likely to orgasm through intercourse. Well, there are some hypotheses as to why. A shorter distance means that you're more likely to get direct penis clitoris contact during penetration, and a shorter cummed might also indicate that the internal clitoris is pressed up more closely against the vagina. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this mess. If you are going to measure your own vulva at home, I would highly recommend trimming your nails beforehand. Thanks for watching and thanks so much to my patrons for making these videos possible and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!